No, this is for you, man. I already I already know our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'm saved. And he gives me this opportunity to share it to, with you, Tamim, that you might know the truth. Tamim, this is a link. I know you're a Muslim, and I've been talking with a lot of Muslims lately. God has brought many Muslims to this channel for me to be able to share the gospel with. I'm not going to be able to read this. I'm assuming you can. So I'm going to drop you this link as well. And Tamim, I want you to read for yourself who this God is and what he has done for you so that you can be saved from the wrath to come. Tamim would like to talk in Fortnite. Hey, we got a friend request. Hey, Tamim, welcome. So what I was saying is uh, that uh, I believe as a Muslim that God will never come down to us because we are humans and he's, he's bigger than that and he created all humans. So why would he come down to us? Why? That's, see, that's a great try. question. The why is what's so important. Now, some of the attributes that we have to look at with God is one of them is grace and the other is mercy. Are you familiar with those two words? No, not really. Okay, so grace is an attribute of God. That means he gives us that which we do not deserve. That's what grace means. Now, mercy is the other side of that. It's another attribute of God. His mercy is so great, he doesn't give us what we do deserve. So here's the question I have for you, uh, Tamim. Would you consider yourself to be a good person? Yes, I am a good person, but- Okay, great. Can I ask you some questions about that? Would that be okay? Yes, of course. Okay, so Tamim, in your life, how many lies have you told? I really don't remember like any lie that I tell. But in your lifetime, if you, I have, lied, you have if I lied, lies, correct? Maybe, but if I yeah. lied, I would lie for maybe. it. I will die for Let's it. Let's be honest, you have. I think so, yeah. What do you call somebody who tells lies? <laughs> liar. What would that make you then? A liar, of course. A liar, but, exactly. Well, I... Hold on. Have you ever been really angry at somebody? Of course. So Jesus said, if you are angry at somebody, you call them a fool, you're really, really angry. You are guilty of committing murder in your heart. So when we look at what God judges us for, he judges us for what we say with our mouth. You've lied. He judges yeah, us for Yeah, of course, what that's we, what I believe. Exactly. What we do with our hands, if we do inappropriate things with our hands. And he even judges us for our thoughts. You've admitted to being a lying murder at heart. If you are honest, you will admit that you're just like the rest of us. You're actually not a good person by God's standard. Let's say today was the day that you died, and you stood before God, and he opened the books on everything you've ever said, everything you've ever done, everything you've even thought. Is God going to find you innocent, or is he going to find you guilty of breaking his laws? So as a Muslim, God, we don't know what will God do. That's what we believe in Islam. We really don't know about that. I no, you, really you don't. Do know. I can't. You do know. You've already, no, I can't answer you, it because it's up to God. I understand it's up to God, and he's a perfect judge. He has to find you guilty. Everybody, that is, he have to make it, every, everyone be the same. Like, exactly. He, he has yeah. to be just. Everybody has to be treated in accordance to the law. And God has says, you shall not lie. And you've admitted to lying. So when you stand before him, he is going to find you guilty. You can be 100% certain of that. Do you understand that now? Just for one lie. I would say, yeah, yeah, for that in Islam, uh, that is if you tell a lie or something, you can get, uh, you can like take it off by doing good things, no, by doing no, good the, deeds that a, you have. That's false. That's called bribing God. You cannot bribe God. God is not a judge like a human judge. No, he's he a better is. one. He's a perfect judge. He's even higher yeah. than, a, than a human yeah. judge. So you cannot he's bribe than, him when you're good all works. judges. So if you went to him and you said, hey, God, I know I've lied, but hey, I've done good things too. You should, you should just let it all go. He can't do that because you should do good things. That's not, that doesn't somehow pay for your bad things. You're supposed to do good things. That's what you're supposed to do. But you have broken his law. You've lied to me. And God says all liars will have their place in the lake of fire. Just a single lie, just yeah. one lie that you have committed. You've done it against God. And there is a wrath that you will receive that is eternity. That's forever. You'll never yeah, leave okay. in hell. We believe that too. And you'll I never that, even yeah. pay off one sin. And you asked a question earlier, and it was a good question to me. Why 
Would God, would God come be down form, and become yeah, a man? Would he for, yeah, and this yeah, is he the has reason. Angels to Listen, come and no, 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 he has no. to. It can't be an angel. Yeah. Can't be an angel. Had to be God Himself, and this is why. To mean He but, loves you. Yeah. Listen to me. This is important. Know, of you course. Have to, hold on. Yeah. It's beyond of course. Just listen to this for a minute. It's important. He loves you so much. He does not want you to go to hell. But justice, His justice, has to be served. So if you are not going to pay the fine, I believe that. somebody else has to. And the only yeah, person in the whole universe who can pay the fine for you is God himself. He has an yeah. infinite amount of payment so he can pay the fine. I said that he will take it off because he's God and he don't have anything that he can, if you put it under the table, no one will tell him about it. If he took it, no one will tell him anything about it because but he's he God. But he can't do that. That would be corrupt. He's not going to take it off the table. He's going to pay for it. Okay. He's going it really to pay doesn't for matter. Yeah. Of course it does matter. It's very important. He it's pays important. for our sins. And because he's paid for it, he can legally dismiss your case, even though you're guilty because the debt has been paid. And that's what Jesus Christ did on the cross. He paid for your sins. For every lie you've ever told to me, he paid for that on the cross. He took the wrath of God for you so that you can be forgiven if you will repent, turn from your sins, forsake them, and put your faith and trust in Jesus that he is who he said he is, God himself, and that he could do it when he said it is finished. He proved he's God to me by coming back from the dead. How many people you know who've come back from the dead? None, of course. None, of course. There is but one, and he did it to prove to you that he is God. So okay, that you can I'm going to tell you. It doesn't matter what you believe. No, it because matters if it's the truth or not. You can have okay. great belief to mean, but if what you okay, believe in is not I true, then you? it's not going to save you. So then if you know that, why would, yes. didn't you become a Muslim? Because it's not true. Here's my question for you. You want to yeah. explain something in Muslim. How, how can you be 100% sure? That on the day that you die in the Muslim religion, you'll go to heaven. No, 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 no. It's, it's not, it's not, it's not. You, you will be. go to heaven. You have, yeah. 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 And, and, Islam, that's, and Islam. That's the problem. In wait, in the wait, truth wait, of wait. what God has revealed to us through His Word, which is His Son Jesus Christ, <laughs> we can have one hundred percent assurity that on the day that we die, we will go to heaven. Not because what we have done, but because what God has done. He gives us His righteousness as a free gift, and He'll give it to you too if you repent. And put your faith and trust in him. And that is the most important thing for you to understand, to me. It's not about you. It's not about what you do. It's not about your good works. You cannot do enough good to undo the sins you've committed against God. He is that kind of righteous. The only person who can make a way for you to be saved is Jesus Christ himself. And he has, but you have to repent of your unbelief and put your faith and trust in him. And you can't do that without his help. And that's what we're going to take a minute right now, Tamim. If it's okay with you, we want to pray for you. Yeah, of course you can right. pray. Heavenly Father, I am so grateful for how mighty and awesome you are that you would make a way for Tamim all the way over in Saudi Arabia to be able to hear the good news about how you have made a way for guilty sinners like Tamim and myself and Jill to be forgiven of our sins 100% so we can be sure that on the day that we die, we are welcomed into the kingdom of God, not because we deserve it, not because we've done anything to earn it, but because you are such a great and awesome God that you would enter into your creation and pay for our sins and you would give us your righteousness so that we can be welcomed into the family of God and enjoy your glory, your amazing truth for all eternity to come. And Father, Tamim needs your help. I pray you'd give him that gift of faith, that he might repent and put that faith and trust in your son and be saved from the wrath to come. This is going to only happen by your hand, Lord, and I leave him in your strong and mighty hand because you are mighty to save, Lord. And I am grateful for that. Thank you for this opportunity to talk to Tamim. I pray we'll get more opportunities to do that. I pray, Lord, you'll give him an opportunity to know your son, Jesus Christ. And I ask all of this in his name, my King, my God, my Savior, Jesus. Amen.